Thank you, Chair, and uh, thank you to the member for uh, an opportunity to clarify and, and for asking the question. I understand why uh, the member is answering it, and as I've um, expressed uh, before the three-week break when we canvassed this material at, at some length, um, one learns when one enters government, um, often by having access to a broad range of legal advice uh, from um, government lawyers whose job it is to clarify for um, lawmakers and, and regulators what our jurisdiction is, where there may be questions about the jurisdiction uh, and how to, how to best uh, achieve our aims, uh, we learned uh, that the authority to say yes or no to a pipeline uh, rests with the federal government, and that uh, is their jurisdiction. Uh, we accept that. That doesn't change the fact that we believe that the project, as put forward, was uh, great risk uh, to British Columbia, great risk to our environment, great risk to our economy. We questioned how the review took place um, and how the decision was made. And that led us to uh, use a perfectly uh, reasonable tool, which is to uh, join the, uh, the federal court challenge of the, the review and the decision itself. But that decision stands, as does the review, until the court itself rules. We also learned that we could, however, within provincial jurisdiction, take a number of other measures to meet our commitment to British Columbians to defend our coast. We believe the project is risky, too risky, uh, with uh, little, if any, benefit to British Columbia to show for it and great risk to both our environmental values and our economic values. Uh, so we set about uh, to look at measures that we could use that were within our jurisdiction to uh, defend our coast, to uh, defend our economy by uh, placing conditions on a BC environmental assessment, by proposing uh, regulatory measures to uh, deal with uh, reducing to the greatest extent possible um, the risk of a spill to addressing uh, recovery through both response times and recovery uh, requirements. We've also proposed a scientific advisory panel to look at the uh, existing science and any new science on the behavior of, uh, of uh, heavy oil, uh, as well as the state of the art of spill prevention uh, response and recovery to help inform those measures that were within our jurisdiction, where a measure is found or contested as uh, potentially not being within our constitutional jurisdiction. As I've mentioned previously, uh, we've referred that uh, to the courts to, uh, to determine whether we're correct in our assumption, whether other governments are correct in, uh, in their assumption, or where, in fact, uh, the truth lies. We're exercising our right and responsibility to defend BC's coast, our interests, and our environment uh, from a threat of a heavy oil spill, or, in fact, from a threat of a spill of any other hazardous substance, because many of the regulations address not just heavy oil, but other petroleum products uh, transported by rail, pipe, or truck. Uh, so that is, in fact, what we're doing.